10 years, um, it's not a lot. It's obviously, you know, we're, we're going to have to live without them for the next, I don't know, they would have lived forever if they had the choice. So, I mean, we got to live for without them, but um, 10 years is, I mean, I, that I don't know what to say about, but the judge at least said what we all knew, and that was that those boys were innocent, they were chased down, and now it's vindication that it's they were innocent victims. I'm actually really overwhelmed right now. Uh, this is the first time I have felt so heavy that I can't speak. Um, I have to sit with the sentencing for a bit. Uh, it's a hard one. It's a hard situation to be in because my family, my brother, my uncle, they were the world to me and to my children and to my son, uh, my sons. And... Um, listening to the judge speak like Sarah had said it was vindicating because the reality and the truth is there when it's your own family there is no justice there's never going to be peace in your heart but on the same coin you know here's an individual that's also being confined and has lost their lives as well how many lives has this affected quite a lot because the Billado family has also lost their caregivers we've lost the pillars to our family and our community and it is just there's no winning here and, and no time served no amount of punishment will ever fix the pain and scarring and trauma it has cost on all sides and the war that it has caused on the internet the hate groups social media the release of this vicious video and our children having to see it there is no peace it's just hurt and trauma and we're gonna to have to heal from our grief and I wish I had something better to say today but I'm just so heavy and I apologize tomorrow maybe I'll be in a better headspace so I I just wish everyone well in healing and hopefully we can move forward it's heavy and I'm sorry yeah that's, no, that's